I want to tell you, all of you, all God's people and all people who don't believe in God, it's fine. This message is for all of us. It's, it's going to be important that we all hear this. What I want to tell you is that for some time the Lord has been putting it in my heart to, to say something to people or tell people about this. What I want to say is that we've been seeing how this country is becoming more controlling. We're losing all our freedoms. We are hearing that this country is becoming more police state. We're hearing about all the martial laws that are going on. I mean, the training of martial law. And it's happening all over the country. People are prepared. The military and the UN soldiers are doing their drills all over the country. They say that they're practicing, but no. It's just a stage like that. They are actually doing it. They are disarming the American people. And the people they oppose them, they kill. We don't hear it in the media. We don't hear it anywhere. Just a few people, I mean, just a few have the guts to go there and go and tell people what's going on and everybody makes them look like they're crazy. A big storm is coming. We could see it over the horizon that is coming. Evil men are preparing a fast pace. Everything is falling into place. Everything is going to calm down so hard there will be like a train hit you. When it hits you, you will not even know what hits you. That's how it's going to come. Everywhere you see people are, are losing hope. They thought that this President Obama will bring change, real change. Change that we all can believe in. He hasn't brought no change. He hasn't done anything for the best. Everything he does, everything he's doing is because he was bad. He's just the puppet. He's the puppet of the rich people of this land and of this world. They call them the elite, the ones who control the aspects of this society in this world. <sighs> the rain will be for real. It'll be for a little while. Everything is gonna change. Everybody's afraid of what's gonna happen or what's happening. They feel like they are without hope. But I wanna tell you, I wanna tell everybody that we have to rely and trust in the only one that could save us or protect us in these troubled times. The one who will help us in everything is nothing but Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord Almighty, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Joseph, the, the God of Job, the God of the ancient who prophesies that the Lord will come and he came and then he died for us and now he resurrected and he's in heaven preparing a home for you and me and he says that he will come once and he's coming and everything's pointing that he's returning. When you see 
And I've been saying that so many times that they pass this National Sunday Law. That will be the end of this country and the start of a massive persecution on God's people. When these people do this, the powerful of this world, they're going to try to control everything. And they think they are God because they have everything. And they have all the money and all the land. They're going to declare war against God and God's people. When they do that, the Lord will not just sit and watch. The Lord is going to come and act for us. The Bible says that when that day happens, Jesus Christ, God of God, kings of kings, will defeat them. If you don't believe me, you could look it up in Revelations chapter 17. 13 and 14 and Revelations 19 11 but if you want you could read everything Revelations 17 the whole chapter and Revelation 19 the whole chapter and there's more that you could read and also will be a nice thing to read is the book of Psalms 91 it says how he will protect his people and also Psalms 18 talks about how he will protect us that he's our high tower he's our protector there's so many things you that's what I'm saying you should read your Bible because in them you will find assurance that what I'm saying is true and this is not my message this message is been motivated to me by the Lord he's been putting it in my heart honestly the Lord is coming and he wants his people to be ready don't be afraid the Lord says he's gonna defeat this evil and he's he said he's gonna do it it's gonna look like we cannot defeat it but we cannot worry about that the war is God's not ours God will fight for us. We don't need weapons. We don't need nothing. And Psalms 91 says, and, I, and you shall see a thousand fall by your right and ten thousand fall by your left and no harm will come to you. Did he say you're going to get a gun and shoot a thousand on your left and ten thousand on your right? And you're going to blast the living hell of everything? No. He says, be still and watch the deliverance of your Lord. Because if we do this, he could, he could allow us to get weapons and fight. But you're going to think that you did it. But if you see the deliverance of the Lord Almighty... You will see that you're not alone. And you will believe more in him if you see this happening. Alright. I only have 10 minutes or 9 minutes in this video. So I have to cut it short. Like again, like what I said, believe in the Lord Almighty. And God bless my friend.